Robert Cray and the Robert Cray Band, Friday, November 11th, Lorraine Palace Theater, Saturday, November 12th, Robbins Theater in Warren. It's time to catch up with the man himself. He's like a fine bourbon. He is very smooth. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Cray right here on Tangled Up in Blues. Robert, how are you? I'm good, man. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for being here with us, man. You you played Tangled Up in Blues Fest in Youngstown back in 2011. It was you, Buddy Guy, and Quinn Sullivan. Uh, folks still talk about that show. It was outside the Cavelli Center. I know you do a lot of shows you probably don't remember, but you tore it up. And it was it's so great to have you finally back in the Warren-Youngstown area. It's been way too long. Um, do you still love the road as much as you used to? Yeah, I still do. Fun every night on stage. Every and, night. I want to ask you about one of the greatest blues albums ever recorded, um, Showdown from 1985. Uh, you, Johnny Copeland, Albert Collins. This album stands the test of time. Do you ever listen to it, and what does it mean to you some 37 years later? I haven't sat down to listen to it forever. It's been, but I still have great memories of being in the studio with both Johnny and and Albert. And um, you know, I always keep that in my memories. It was, it was a you know just kind of off the cuff session, and uh, we were all having fun. I had never met Johnny Copeland before going into the studio, but I'd, I'd known Albert for a long time. And Johnny and Albert, of course, they go way back to their right. recent days. And uh, they, Albert was ribbing Johnny all the while we were in the studio because Johnny was, had been fasting. He was pretty weak. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so we took all of that ribbing and stuff into the studio, and it made it so much fun. Uh, and I'll, I'll always remember that. And it's usually always in everybody's top five of, you know, greatest blues albums ever recorded. Now, you personally, your first album came out in 1980, uh, Who's Been Talking, which I just love, by the way, a very cool oh, debut. You. Uh, but in 86, 87, your entire world changed with uh, Strong Persuader. Issue 502, by the way, front cover, Rolling Stone. In fact, it's hanging on my wall right beside me. Uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If you ever, if everybody, some, if somebody hits you with that, Robert, you are on issue 502, okay? But all, right. um, <laughs> all over rock radio with Smoke and Gun, Grammy Award, uh, years of club dates, hard work, it finally paid off. Uh, can we go back to those days? Tell me a little bit about that time. Well, when when Strong Persuader hit, it was it was like you said, it was amazing. It was an amazing at the time. We we've been working so hard because uh, you know uh, the Europe market opened up for us, and, and Japan and South America right before Strong Persuader. So we when that came out when Strong Persuader came out, we didn't think we could work any harder than we had been. <laughs> yeah. but everything turned around. Guess what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, here you go. This is what you've been, you know, this is what you've been working hard for. But um, yeah, it was a, it turned everything completely around, and uh, it was it was an amazing ride. I tell you, it was just phenomenal. And the win the Grammy that was your first, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was the first. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, um, you know, well. The first was with Johnny and Albert. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you won the first with, with Showdown, and then okay, yeah. very good, very mm -hmm. good. Um, hey, I got to ask you about your alter ego, uh, Night Train Clemens. Does uh, does Night Train ever come around anymore? Only on the basketball court. <laughs> I and love that, it. Yeah. <laughs> There's Night Train Clemens and Ozell Washington, who's Richard Cousins. So those were our those were our basketball names when we when we you know when we get on the court to play. So that's where Night Train Clemens came from, the basketball Night, court. Night Train Clemens came from a friend of mine. We were playing outside at night, and there were street lights, um, <laughs> on this basketball court outdoors, and and. Uh, uh, this friend of mine said, oh, coming down the lane, it's night train. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that's beautiful. So uh, we kept it. 
you know, uh, I, I hate to put this pressure on you, but you, you have a lot of weight on your shoulders. Maybe you don't feel it. You, Jimmy Vaughn, Billy Gibbons, you guys are now the elder statesman, really, of the blues. Uh, Buddy said he's retiring in 2023, which I don't believe. But uh, do you feel any of that pressure to keep that blues towards burning for the all the young guns to follow? I don't think about, you know, things like that. We just gotcha. go out and do what we do, and uh, we're having a good time doing it. And, uh, you know, that's just how it is. It, it, doesn't it make you feel good, though, to be an influence? I, I hear so many of the younger blues uh, artists, not only uh, male but female, talking about they, they just love the way you play and the way you sing. It's got to make you feel great. It does make you feel good, but, you know, when you think back, I mean, everything everything goes round and round like the world does. And I can remember standing outside of a, you know, a van where Buddy and Junior pulled up to the gig and I'm standing outside like the biggest fan in the world or, you know, having the opportunities that we've had over the years to meet all of our heroes and heroines. Yeah. But you never really think about yourself being in a position of the same. And um, uh, it, it's a, it's a wonderful feeling, but, you know, you don't – really think of yourself in those kind of terms, but happy to be that, though. Yeah, amen, amen. Um, uh, your last studio album, by the way, Smoke, uh, it, it's called That's What I Heard. Uh, congratulations with it. It was named the Slu uh, Soul Blues Album of the Year in 2021. Um, let's talk a little bit about this current tour, who's in your band, what should we expect? Uh, will it be a little bit of old, a little bit of new? Give us a quick rundown, if you would, Robert. Well, it is exactly that. It's a little bit of old and a little bit of new. And, you know, with the um, inclusion of that, what I heard, you know, it just gives us more in our book from which to choose from. And uh, so we go all the way back to the Bad Influence album, all the way to now. And the, the, the sets are different every night. There's a few favorites here and there in there. But we, we change it up. And uh, Richard Cousins is, is uh, playing bass in the band. Over Weinberg is playing the organ and piano, and Les Falconer is on the drums. So we're a quartet. But we do have, you know, a, a, a master list that we do pick from. Well, November 11th, Lorraine Palace Theater, uh, November 12th, the Robbins Theater in Warren, both beautiful venues. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the great Robert Cray. Robert, all I can say is thanks for catching up with us and safe travels, my friend. Well, thank you, Cornell, and I appreciate being on your show. Thank you.